welcome to another Tech Tuesday. Today we're going to take a look at the Razer Tartarus V2 here. This is a gaming pad. If you haven't already, check out my other Tech Tuesday videos where I'm going through game peripherals like mice, keyboards, monitors, graphics cards, all those kind of things. If you want to keep in touch with those and up to date, hit the subscribe button. So let's go for the pros and cons on this. I'm going to show you some gameplay as well. I'm talking through it. If you want to look at the key configuration, I'm going to be doing a video for Pug and Fortnite and showing you what key combination I'm using. But today I'm just going to show you the overall pros and cons of the Razer Tartarus V2. So what's the point of a gamepad or a Razer Gone keypad? The difference here is these keys here replaces the need for a keyboard when you're gaming. And it puts all the keys in a good place for one hand to allow you to easily reach them. Which you can find sometimes when you're on a keyboard it can be a little bit awkward because it's not designed for that. This is specifically designed to move WASD and the other surrounding keys like R, G, F, spacebar into a really comfortable position for one hand. So this one here is the Mecha Membrane, the old Weaver. I've done a review on that as well, put a link in the description. For the rivals, so this is the G13 from Logitech. And other than that, there is no real, real comparison to go against. There's a few cheaper brands which I haven't actually tried. These are the main ones that are done by the top of the line gaming companies. So this currently comes in around £79 here from Razer. It comes with a 19 button configuration and a scroll wheel. It's got a space bar. It's got a directional D-pad with a thumbstick attachment here that you can use. Comes off as well. And you've got a button as well above the thumbstick. So the space bar itself is a mecha membrane key. You've got the D-pad or thumb pad here that it moves around and it feels very similar. It's a bit like a little thumbstick from a, from a controller like a PS2 or Xbox One, but it's a bit, bit awkward. It's kind of not as smooth as you would expect. And you've got the thumb press here as well. But the keys themselves. And I've got a nice tactile button, a bit like an MX green. We are quite heavy I think to push, They're a little bit heavier than a normal mechanical one to activate, but sure to reach. You've got a nice scroll wheel here and it's got a down press as well as a up and down. Palm rest here, this is only configurable for position in two positions, that's one position. Pull off the palm rest, which is a little bit difficult. You put it in position two here, which extends the back a little bit, makes it a little bit longer for your hands. And then you get this cushioned palm rest here as well. Overall material, standard plastic on the sides, uh, a little bit of a smoother finish here where your under palm fits and then the actual palm rest itself is the leather pad. Same material that comes with the Razer Chroma V2 palm rest and the Ornata. On the base itself you've got rubber feet, you've got quite a large one here, this does not move around. But as I've said before with other Razer products these rubber feet are very good, They're that good that they pick up quite a bit of dirt after a bit. And after about a month or so you best just give them a quick clean because they'll start to slide around. On a white desk these black feet do also leave marks but it's not going to move when you're gaming and the black marks are superficial really. So build quality wise, I think it's very good for the price range. It's certainly in the top price, the G13 is cheaper if you can find one because they're quite rare now. It's not as dear as your Weaver. The buttons themselves are nice. I'm not sure I'm a fan of the scroll wheel. It would have been nice to have an extra button here which the old Weaver has. It's nice to see the additional row because originally the Tartarus only had three rows. They were given this additional row here to give it a fourth row on the scroll wheel. But like a mouse scroll wheel, you're not really going to use it. You might use it for zooming in and out maybe. And you can push it down for an activation. I don't know. I can't quite work out what I would use it for. I use it generally for the map. Let me know in the comments what you guys would use this for. I also don't like the fact that these buttons are all different. So you've got the Mecha Membrane Spacebar, which unfortunately is quite difficult to reach on the Tartarus. It fits quite nice there, but then when I move my thumb up, as you can see, I miss the thumb pad. I can't reach the thumb pad and I can't reach the thumb press button on here. I have to move my hand across, which puts my hand at a bit of a weirder angle. And I can, but then my thumb is overhanging the space block. So you think, okay, Bob, change around the, the pad. So I change the pad around. The damn thing off. That's in a longer formation. You still can't quite get the right position for my thumb. So my dimensions are slightly different. You might have a longer thumb or a shorter thumb, but for me, it doesn't quite fit the Tartarus. That's why I like the old Weaver. A bit more configurable. What is cool is the fact you can take off the thumb stick here and you can have it just as a normal D-pad. Find without the stick on it, it's more of a four-way directional pad than the eight way that they specify, but it is easier to hit the eight way than it is on the old Weaver. Quite usable, but I think you still use it as a four way pad and it's quite satisfying the pressing that one. The, the thumb one, the thumb button there could be a bit nicer. And I'm not a fan of the space bar on this one at all. I do not like it. I think it hits, sits quite high. I think it's quite high to press. I think it's in an awkward position for the Taurus for me. Not a fan of that whatsoever. 
Gable length's around two meters, it's fully braided. Again, it could be a little bit longer because you kind of use these next to the keyboard, so you need a bit more length to move it around. And it's a little bit chunkier, a little bit uglier than the old Weaver. I think it could look a bit nicer. I'm not a fan of this thumb piece here. I think it looks a bit chunky. But it's got full RGB lighting, and it is also compatible with Synapsis 3, which is a benefit. So overall, I like this. I think I would probably pick a different one to this one. It's not for me, but it's a good product. You have to make sure that the palm size is right for your hand on this one. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see anything else. And until the next video, I'll see you all again. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.